Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide and this is going to be a hopefully a quick guide and hopefully a solution to a problem that some of the books users have been experiencing with uh, inability to log in to Google Drive app or Google Drive on their browser on their tablets. Um, this is something that has been around for a while and I didn't really have time to look into it, but I started getting emails and requests and things like that. So I did get to look into it. And um, yeah, let's uh, let's first check out the uh, what the issue is. All right, so if I go online and I Google the books Google Drive issue, uh, what I do get is quite a few things and I'm thinking that they are all relating to the same problem. And the most um, impactful one or relevant one is this Reddit post here where people say that, hey, um, yeah, I can't, uh, when I attempt to log in using this guide, I get this app is blocked message from Google. And then you have other ones also saying that, hey, there's a restriction, there's this device is not secure and all that kind of stuff stuff. And naturally, people assume that it's something nefarious and evil. It must be because we live in a world of uh, conspiracy theories, do we not? But venture not into the dark side. Use the force within you for good. So if you decide to actually block the noise of unverified nonsense and try and approach an issue that is a genuine issue, it's a very real issue, but you try to approach it from a more, mm, let's say, balanced state of mind where the only thing that you're looking for is like common sense reasoning without any prejudice or anything like that, then the likelihood of actually finding a solution to a problem is much higher. So I looked into it and I think that I found the fix and the cause. So let's head on over to the other room. I want to show you something on an equal footing. And on the left hand side, I have my Note Air 3C, which is running the latest OS version, the same OS version that is installed on the books Go 10.3 as well. I've tried to access via a browser, the same type of Google Drive account, which is a enterprise account. So not a private one, but an enterprise account and enterprise accounts or workspaces, they have have higher security requirements. Now, I am able to log in via the browser on the Note Air 3C without any problems. I am not able to do so on the Go 10.3. So this would be example number one. Let me show you example number two. When I'm using the Google Drive app on both of them, I can perfectly normally enter uh, and use my personal non-workspace Google Drive account. However, when I try to switch on to one of the workspace accounts, originally what I would get is that this one would not open and it would just say couldn't display content or nothing to display, while on this one I could display it normally. However, now I'm able to display it. Hmm. What could it possibly be? Well, let me show you what it is. So what is the difference between these two when I wake them up? One is asking for a pin code, the other one isn't. Google 10.3, I've never set the pin code on it. And when I didn't have a set pin code on it or any kind of security thing, Google Drive determined that the device is not secure. This one, on the other hand, because it does have both a fingerprint and a pin code, never had that problem. So in order to solve that problem, all I needed to do was go to the settings and the password section and set a lock screen password. Then you restart. So let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna set the password. Let's do a Nokia one. So 111 right? One, 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 one. There we go. So now I'm setting my super secure password. It is now set. And if I go home and basically shut it down, so go to sleep, wake up, it should ask me, hey, there's a code. Okay. So let's try the code. Cool. 
it unlocks. But what you will need to do to, in order to make this to actually function is to restart your device after you've set your pin code on. The device needs to boot with the security settings in place so that Android can detect that the system has security settings in place. Only when the Android OS or the OS system has detected, hey, this device is secured, meaning it has a security protocol in place, pin code or whatever it is, the thing that we've done, then Google services will interpret that, hey, this device is indeed secure. And if I'm right, I should be able to now have booted with the security lock on, right? So my Google Drive should function normally still. And it does. I'm going into the workspace here. But let's check out the behavior of the uh, browser. So now I'm in the browser. It's asking me to log in. Lo and behold, it logged in to the account that it previously would not do. The thing that I didn't expect to happen was that uh, the device needs to be secured only once. Because what I fully expected to happen was that uh, if there is a pin code or secure lock of some kind in place, as long as that is true, that the Google Play services or the Google services will deem the device secure and then they will give you access to it. And if it's not the case that you don't have any pin code or security lock in place, that the, um, yeah, the services will be denied. That, I think, is a bug in the Google Drive uh, app, but I think that the browser was the one who was showing the correct type of behavior. So just to confirm that, I'm going to now remove the screen uh, password or the lock, right? So I'm going to remove it. I'm going to restart the device one more time. All right, now we've booted up without the screen lock in place. And now I want to see if the, um, the behavior of Google Drive security based behavior is dependent on the current state of the pin lock or just if it was ever pin locked when you first logged into your account and if it deemed that the device is actually secure. So um, here, yes, we have access to the workspace, but do we have access to the workspace now in a browser? Let's see, he's logging in. Yeah, so now it gives me access even though the device no longer has a screen lock code. So what I'm going to try is I'm going to try and repeat the same type of behavior on another books device that has never had a pin lock setup. And I luckily have Go 6 here that I haven't set up with a pin lock yet. So let's see if we can replicate the behavior, because if I can, then that should be a definitive proof of how to overcome this issue. Let's let's first start it up and let's install Google Drive on it and try and see if I get the same type of behavior uh, without having screen lock in place ever. All right, so I am attempting now to, I've verified and I got Google Drive installed and the personal account logged in normally. So now I'm trying to log into a workspace account and uh, let's uh, see what we get. It's genuinely the very first time and the device has never had a screen lock. So I agree. And what do we get? Google services, checking info, logged in for a moment. And there we go. And then it just went away. So it did log in. It did show me the content. But then this is what I would get. And if I would go to files, it would just say can't refresh, check your network, try again, home, check your network, try again. Step one confirmed. Let's try and confirm the same thing, but in the browser. All right, so now let's try and log in. I'm going to stay in Microsoft Edge. And weirdly, this 
actually now worked here even though I didn't have the secure uh, connection here. So there's something really, really weird going on. So I could confirm the behavior on the uh, app, but not in the browser. Hmm. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out and help the app, the Google Drive app actually work by introducing the screen lock settings, rebooting it, and then trying again. So let's add the same uber secure password. One, 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 one. Let's confirm that. Oh no, one, 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 one. Let's reboot the device. All right, rebooted. So it's asking a password lock. This should tell Android, hey, this is a secure device. And the Google Play Store should say also, hey, this is a secure device because it has this impenetrable pin lock, which is absolutely the pinnacle of security that we can have in 2024. So if I now go to apps, Google Drive should say, yeah, nobody's going to crack that one. So you're good to go. And I am. <laughs> cool. All right. So this and I should have files. Yep. All right, so that confirms it, um, that definitively it's the screen lock thing. I just wanna do one final thing, which is remove the screen lock, reboot, and then see if I can still get the uh, Google Drive to consider that this device is secured. Oh no, which one was it? One, 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 reboot. Good Lord, Go6 is slow. It's how can it be that slow? Wee! I'm like a swan. Boopity doo. I want to be like this elephant. Oh no, he's gone. All right, so we booted up <laughs> um, without the screen lock. If I go to apps and go to my Google Drive, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Except long waiting times because Go 6 apparently is. There we go. And will you retain the display? Will I be able to move stuff around? Seems to be working. It seems to be that it appears only on the devices that have never had any kind of security lock in place set at any time. My suspicion is, as I've said, that the, uh, the device needs to boot up with security lock in place so that the Google Play Store, or more importantly, Google Play Services, can make that determination and can classify the device as a secure one. I don't know if that is absolutely correct or not, but that's what seems to be the case. But what I can see is that I can definitively replicate the behavior on all of the devices and I get expected type of behavior on all of the devices that way. Well, okay, hopefully this is something that you can reproduce as well on your end. And most importantly, hopefully this is something that you can use to solve the issue that you have been experiencing if this is what you have been experiencing. My uh, suspicion is that if you've had other synchronization login issues and other things not just via the app but also other via other apps and things like that uh, maybe this is something that sh would resolve that problem uh, on that end as well because it seems to be a unified kind of thing that basically just flips a flag in the system for Google Play to understand and characterize the device as secure from the mo from that moment once it determines hey it has a secure lock i hope that you get to fix your issues and i hope that you found the video informative and or useful if you did please like the video please subscribe to the channel and also do check out mydeepguy.com shop where you can find my daily organizer and my deep guide meeting planner both of which are hyperlinked pdf files that help you organize all of your personal or professional organizing need be it on a yearly quarterly monthly weekly daily basis for my daily organizer or mdo or 
for your meeting planning needs as in the case of the MMP or My Deep Guide Meeting Planner. Um, purchasing of these products directly helps support my work and the independence of My Deep Guide. And you can find more information in the hyperlink playlist for both of these products in the description below to see if these are products for you or not. Or if you just want to support the work that I do, then you can do that that way as well. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy and see you in the next video. Bye.